السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I'm Muhammad Nuf Al-Hudabi talking to you on the topic an introduction to Fatah Al-Mu'in this is an address as part of our online course on in uh, uh, of the topic Islamic law of inheritance we are taking the chapter of this kitab Fatah Al-Mu'in as the base of our course course of islamic law of inheritance that is ilm al fara'il thus we can move on the first point i will share with you 10 points regarding the kitab fatuh al mu'in the first point is its name itself that is fatuh al mu'in bi sharhi qurrat al ayn bi muhimmat al din fatuh al mu'in is the name of the text and this text got a base text that is its name inshallah it will be coming its name is Qurratul Ain bi Muhammad Din. so here I will explain its word meanings Fatih means opening Al Mu'in means helper or assistant Bisharahi means explaining Qurratul Ain means the pleasure or the coolness of uh, the eye be Muhammad Din regarding the mission of religion. So, regarding the mission of religion, uh, there is a text. It's it is really coolness of our eye. And um, this Fatul Muin is its explanation. So, it is, uh, this Fatul Muin is an assistant. Uh, a, uh, the words and the interpretation the and the annotations of Fatuhul Mu'in will open that assistant. So this is a word meaning. So Fatuhul Mu'in, the name of the kitab is Fatuhul Mu'in Bisharahi Qurratil Ain Bi Muhammad Din. We can move to the next. So who is the author? The name of the author is Sheikh Ahmad Zainuddin Makhtum bin Sheikh Muhammad Al Ghazali. He is the grandson of Sheikh Zainuddin Makhdum Al Awwal. Zainuddin Makhdum, the first, is one of the great scholar in Kerala. Uh, he was the grandfather of the author of this text, Fatuh al Mu'in. And uh, uh, you may definitely will be knowing the Zainuddin Makhdum Al Awwal. The first is the uh, uh, Musannif or the order of Murshid al Tulab and Tuhfat al Ahibba, Irshad al Qasidin, and Kifayat al Fara'il, likewise Kitab al Adkiya, the very famous uh, collection of uh, poems in uh, Tasawwuf, uh, and he also got one of the very important uh, Kitab, Tahrir al al Iman, Ala Jihad Abad al Sulban. So uh, it was his. Uh, grandfather Sheikh Zainuddin Makhdum Al Awwal. So our order, uh, I mean the order of Fatuh Al Mu'in, is regarded or is known as Makhdum Al Thani, Makhdum Second. Our Makhdum Second, Zainuddin Makhdum uh, Second, he was a, he was a writer, he was a famous orator, historian, jurisprudent. Uh, it means faqi and spiritual leader and widely known as Zainuddin Makhdum II or Zainuddin Makhdum as saghir in Arabic and their family was basically they came from Yemen even though they are not the uh, Prophet's uh, Sayyid family but they came along with Prophet's family from Halormouth so basically they belong to uh, family of Abu Bakr Siddiq they, they came their forefathers came from Yemen from Halaramaut and it will be the case of uh, 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 areas uh, like Kerala, Tamil Nadu and if we move on Indonesia Singapore, uh, Brunei all this belt uh, the Shuryu Sadat Ashraf um, Yemen they came there as traders and, uh, and uh, along with them they carried the message of Islam and they did ta'wah because of their sincere very submissive services Islam was so powerful and uh, deeply rooted in those uh, region and uh, likewise it is the case in Kerala in our region also Zindi Makhdum uh, uh, he 33 years 
he was uh, inshallah it will be coming in the next place 10 years after his formal education from his birthplace birthplace in kerala uh, he left uh, uh, for Mecca and he spent uh, 10 years after that 32 years he was Mudaddis in a very famous Masjid Punani in Kerala in India then we can move to the point number three uh, his uh, time period uh, it was Hijra year uh, 932 uh, to 982 in uh, Christian uh, era it is 100 uh, 1579 he was born in Chombal near Mahi district of the Pondicherry U uh, Union territory it's in India very close to Kerala he was uh, his cover uh, also in the same place uh, in Mahi uh, in a masjid uh, in his native place Chombal then we can move uh, on towards his very very famous works the first work is Qurratul Ain bi Muhimmati Deen. That's a very precise, a small text on jurisprudence on fiqh based on Shafi school of thought. Uh, it includes uh, around 70 lanes. It was uh, basically meant for the uh, uh, public, those who are not that much educator. So this uh, was the base text of Fatuhul Mu'in. You, you can see the next one, the second text that it's its name that we have already said Fatuhul Mu'in, Bisharahi Qurratil Ain bi Muhimmat al-Din, an exemplary uh, uh, service uh, text on jurisprudence based on Shafi school of thought. And uh, this is an annotation, this is a sharah, this is an explanation, interpretation of his kitab Qurratul Ain. So the base kitab and the sharah kitab both belong to Sheikh Zainuddin Makhdum second and another kitab is al istiadadul lil maut wa su'alul qabr that's the work in tasawuf another one is irshadul ibad ila sabil rashad a spiritual text explaining the way to almighty and the next one is tuhfatul mujahidin fi ba'li akhbar al burtugaliyin history of muslims in kerala with special reference to the brutalities of portuguese invasion and another one is ahkamu ihkamu there is a small error in this is not Hamza uh, please uh, note it uh, this is uh, basically uh, E this mark must be in the down so uh, uh, that's Hamza sorry for my uh, 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 miss uh, caught uh, or uh, the uh, wrong in my saying that is E Ihkamu ahkaminika. Here it is given e. So it must be uh, put in put it it must be put uh, it here and this here. Ihkamu ahkaminika. That is a precise explanation of the laws rela uh, regarding the marriage in Islam. And another one is Sharahu Asudur fi Ahwali al Mauta. Okay. So next one, Sharaf Sudur fi Ahwal Mauta, a spiritual text explaining the uh, context of uh, the afterworld. It was an annotation of the work done by Imam Suyuti, Rahimullah. Another one is Al Ajibiba Tul Ajiba and Il Asila Tul Ghudiba. This was a collection of some fatwas issued on various issues. Uh, 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 he uh, collected uh, the this fatwa while he was uh, staying in Mecca in his uh, learning time. And Al Fatwa Al Hindiya, that's fatwa issued on the special conducts of Southern India state of Kerala. And another one is Al Jawahir fi Uqubati Ahl Kabair, spiritual text. And another one is Al Manhaj Al Walih, text explaining those relating to marriage. So, number uh, point number five. Ten years he, he was in Mecca after his formal study from homeland. So, who were his teachers? Subhanallah. The number one, it comes the name of Al Hafil Shihabuddin ibn Hajar al Haytami, Grand Mufti of Haramain and commentator of Hadith and Fiqh. Subhanallah. He is the commentator of the most authentic kitab. One of the most authentic kitab in Shafi Madhab, it is Tuhfat al Muhtaj. It was, uh, it is explanation of Minhaj al Talibin uh, of Imam Nawawi. So this text is, this text and the uh, text of Imam Ramli, both the texts are regarded as the most authentic texts uh, in Shafi Madhab. So it was uh, 
uh, so uh, it was uh, Hafiz Shihabuddin uh, uh, Ibn Hajar Al Haytami, Rahimahullah. He was the teacher of Zainuddin Makhdum, Subhanallah. And second one is Izuddin ibn Abdul Aziz al Zamzami, Sheikh Abdul Rahman ibn Ziyad, Sheikh Abdul Rahman al Safavi, and, and uh, uh, this, uh, the name to come is his Sheikh in Tasawwuf, Qutub al Zaman, Zainu al Arifin, Muhammad ibn Sheikh al Arif, uh, Abi Hassan al Bakidi, Rahimahumullahu, Rahmatan Wasiya. So, among, from these uh, names of great, great scholars, we can just assume how great. Our author Zainuddin Makhdum the second is, and who were his colleagues? Alama Ibn Qasim Al Abadi, the great scholar who made Hashia to Tuhfat Al Muhtaj. Likewise, Sayyid Abu Bakr bin Salim Al Halurami, uh, Sheikh Ahmed bin Sayyid Sheikh Al Aydrusi, Mulla Ali Al Qari, Mulla Ali Al Qari, he made a brilliant sharh for Mishkat uh, Al Masabi uh, in the name of. Uh, uh, Miftahul Mishkatul Masabi. The name is Mirqatul Mafatih Sharahu Mishkatul Masabi. And uh, another one, uh, another very famous colleague, his classmate, uh, it was Sayyid Abdurrahman bin Shihamuddin Al Halrami, Rahimahumullahu, Rahmatul Wasiya. The sixth point is it is the base text. Uh, the name of the base text it is Qurratul Ain bi Muhimati Deen. It might, might be completed by 1560 to 1570. The precise date is not uh, uh, authentically known. So uh, 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 the historians assume that it must be completed by 1570. And the annotation, the Sharah text, that is Fatul Mu'in. Uh, 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 it was completed by uh, 1575, the Hijri year, 982, Ramadan 24. And the point number seven, the main sources of uh, uh, the Kitab Fatul Mu'in, it is the text of Ibn Hajar al Haytami, because uh, being his teacher, uh, definitely uh, 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 he will be his main irtimat, uh, uh, the main source. Uh, of uh, his work of Fatul al -Muin. So, text of Ibn Hajr al-Haytami, it includes Tufa, uh, Fatul al-Jawad, Imdad, Fatawa, Sharaf al-Ubab, Al-Manhaj al-Qabim, Sharaf al-Muqaddima al-Ahlurramiya. And uh, he, uh, he also takes Zakari al-Ansari, the Shaykh of Ibn Hajr al-Haytami, uh, as his choice. And likewise, Mujahuddin Abdul Rahman ibn Ziyad, Shaykh al-Islam, al-Muzajjad, uh, these uh, uh, great scholars. And there are uh, certain mutaakhirin, uh, uh, those uh, scholars uh, who came uh, after Ibn Hajr al-Haytami. Uh, from their kitabs also, Zainuddin uh, Makhdum uh, second he uh, uh, find the sources for his work. Still, these are the main sources of uh, uh, his uh, text, Fatuh al -Mu'in. And we know in the Madhub of Shafi'i, the most authentic kitab, it is two, that is, uh, Fatuh al muhtaj li bin Hajr al-Haytami, and likewise, Nihayat al muhtaj li imam al-Ramli. Why it is so? Because these two scholars could uh, very clearly state and explain the details uh, that are uh, those are given uh, or uh, those were presented by Imam Nabi and Imam Rafi, rahimahumullah, both of them as regard the most uh, authentic persons in. Uh, 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 describing the opinions of Imam Shafi and his Ashab. So, Ibn Hajar Rahimahullah and Imam Ramli, they could clearly state the sayings of Imam Rafi and Imam Nabi uh, uh, in the Madhab of, in the Fiqh of Shafi'i. So, this day, so uh, one of the sources, uh, Ibn Hajar Haytami's Kitabs. Uh, one of the authentic sources, that is Ibn Hajr al Haytami's kitab, that were, uh, uh, those kitabs were uh, the main source of Fatuh al Mu'in. So it means the Fatuh al Mu'in is the crux of Madhab of Shafi'i. 
and we can move to the next uh, point uh, the influence of kitab fatwa al muin it has been quoted the fatwa al muin the uh, the statements uh, the ibarat of fatwa al muin uh, have been quoted by many scholars like abdul rahman al mashur in his kitab bughya and abdul hamid shirwani in hashiyat al tuhfa and muhammad nawawi al jawi in in uh, kashifat al zujha so these uh, are said some examples uh, the great scholars they quote the ibarat the statements the sayings and the explanation of zainuddin makhdum al-thani in fatwa al-mu'in and it has been taught in al-azhar egypt jamia amabiya damascus in dir in dirs it means dirs uh, usually that's a technical term for the circles in masjids uh, we can see in ruwaq of uh, 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 masjid uh, Azhar Azhar Masjid and there may be certain names uh, uh, in different places usually we in Kerala we uh, use the term Dirs for the, uh, the for the students who stay in the masjid for uh, acquiring the religious ilmu so there are uh, the Dirs Halqas in Mecca and various masjids in Syria, Lebanon, Yemen, Indonesia, Malaysia, Singapore. So uh, all these uh, 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 events or the facts denote the influential uh, characteristic of Fatah al-Mu'in. And around 10 Hashia commentaries for Fatah al-Mu'in, there are mo uh, around 10 Hashia. The most uh, famous one is Hashia to Iyanat al-Talibi. And uh, uh, this kitab has been translated to Malayalam, Malay, Indonesian, Tamil, Kannada, as well as in English. Uh, but uh, the studies say the uh, copies of English uh, translation uh, that is not available. Still, the works under the Arhuda Islamic University, the mission of translating it to English is going on. And the partition of Kitab. Fatah al Mu'in has been uh, separated into four parts. The first part is Ibadah, that is worships regarding mm. Tohara, Najas, Fulu, prayers, Sunnah prayers, Juma prayers, jam conditions of the Jama'at, Masail of Qudwa, uh, Sawm, Hajj, all these things were uh, uh, detail with details described in 139 pages. The biggest portion of Fatah al Mu'in uh, deals uh, to explain the ahkam, the decrease of ibadah, the worships. And the second one is Mu'amala, the financial dealings, 56 pages. And the third one is Munakaha, the medical affairs, that is 45 pages. Um, Jinaya, the criminal laws and its aftermath uh, issues, uh, the remedies, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the actions uh, taken. So uh, the details of which include 46 pages, total Fatah al Mu'in got 276 pages pages and there are some technical terms uh, some uh, technical terms like shaykhuna shaykh shaykhina whom these terms uh, refer so if zainuddin makhdum athani if he uses khilafan li shaykhina who is this shaykhuna that is ibn hajar al haytham rahimahullah and sometimes he may say shaykh shaykhina that is zakari al ansari rahimahullah sometimes he say shaykh shuyukhina that is abdul hasan uh, sorry abul hasan al al, al bakari rahimahullah and shaykhana shaykhana uh, it is referred to ibn ziyad rahimahullah ibn hajar rahimahullah and shaykhani imam nawawi and imam rafi and al qali that is qali husin rahimahullah and with al imam that is imam haramini rahimahullah with al, al mutaqaddimun that is scholars before imam rafi and nawawi rahimahumullah and with mutaakhirun that is, uh, that is uh, scholars after imam rafi and imam rawi rahimahullah radiyallahu an kulli wahid minhum ajma'in so these are the 10 points as introduction to Fatah al Mu'in. Still, there got uh, uh, so many details to be shared under this title. For example, the uh, istimala, ist, ist, al istilahat, the technical uh, usages. Uh, for example, uh, al masala, al muhimma, tembi. Uh, there are a lot of such 
technical terms uh, he, he, he the order of fatahil mu'in that is zainul maktum thani he uses i'm not going to its details that is not that much needed for this course definitely inshallah you must uh, go behind it you must uh, uh, make a research, research uh, 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 over this very important and very informative things and um, here we in Kerala, uh, nobody is regarded as a scholar uh, unless he uh, or learns Fatah al Mu'in. That much importance is given is given for this text Fatah al Mu'in, and uh, uh, it. Uh, I, as is as it is the case of uh, all the areas where Fatul Mu'in uh, is there, Fatul Mu'in prevails there. Uh, the case of Kerala is not uh, uh, different from that. The, in Kerala, Fatul Mu'in could bring the rituals, the practices, uh, the jurisprudence uh, ideas, or uh, 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 the uh, uh, details. All the, the Fatul Mu'in could bring in an order the life of Muslims in Kerala in uh, terms of fiqh, in terms of ahkam, in terms of fatwa, in terms of uh, 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 the dependence or the source. So uh, uh, the, some of the uh, short or the uh, gist of my saying uh, is Fatuh al the Kitab has influenced the Muslim Ummah in general especially the Ummah in Kerala in deep sense. So uh, we are moving to the conclusion. So this is Fatah al Mu'in, a great, great kitab. Fatah al Mu'inu, Fatah al Mu'in kitab in Sha'unuhu Ajabu, Hawa Minel Kutubi, Hawa Minel Fiqhi Malam Yehvihi Kutubu. Uh, very famous uh, Sha'idi, uh, the a poem in uh, regards of Fatah al Mu'in. So, this kitab, the great kitab, very authentic kitab, and this and the uh, the summary of Tuhfat al Muftaj, or the very important Masail, in short, very clearly, very precisely detailed in Fatah al Mu'in. So this kitab is treated as a very authentic and a very base of fiqh uh, al-shafi'i. Uh, so uh, even though even though there are so many brothers from Hanafi school, maybe from Maliki school, from Hanbali school, uh, uh, joining uh, in our course, still in the in in our course, that is the course of uh, Islamic law of inheritance, ilmul fara'il. In Ilmul Fara'il, there is no much differences. There is no much differences among the madhabs. That's why we, with full confidence, uh, we take Fatah al Mu'in as a base uh, of our course. So let me here conclude my words. Please uh, uh, get to know or please uh, uh, just surf in internet browse for more information uh, about Fatah al Mu'in. So uh, here I conclude thanking you all. Thank you so much. Jazakumullah kulla khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.